Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Drew Durrell with Drew Durrell Life Solutions. Um, happy again, once again, for everybody to come in. Let's have a discussion. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. This particular topic, um, I'm going to relate it and discuss things that I am noticing and observing. I love some time to give in summary uh, my perspective on things that I am noting um, in some of the social social media platforms that I am, am involved in, particularly YouTube. And I know I talk a lot about um, relationships. I talk about counseling related issues, family in the black community. But what I'm seeing today, what I'm starting to encounter in the last, I want to say 16 to 18 months, and I've noticed it, but I just kind of didn't necessarily focus a lot on it. I'm focused. I, I've been noticing an increase as I've seen um, a whole community that has a large percentage of incels, male incels. I'm now at this point observing the rise of young female in sales. And then one will say, well, Deidre, what do you mean about young female in sales? So doing in sale is basically someone, male or female, who's who wants, who yearns for the um interaction or to be with sexually or emotionally with the opposite sex, but they're unable to do so, but they want to. What I have seen a lot, being that I have been in the manosphere for for well over six years, well over six years now, at least six years. What I've noticed now is that in response of years and years of men in these black spaces being a, a dominant sector, there has been a large, a very large response of women who have the who have similar circumstances, just so happen to be females. And what I have observed about the the in, these female incels and someone some people have used terms such as fem cells, I guess to make a joke at them and so so on. Most of the female incels that I have observed in my uh, 20 plus years, 20 years or more in the mental health field. Um, usually I've observed women who were not very fit, who were not physically attractive. They were somewhat socially act, socially awkward, verbally or physically, um, emotionally, but mainly they were physically um, looked upon as being unpleasant. Many of these women for the most part, it's not the, the fact that they were maybe in the face, not facially not seen as attractive. Um, many were basically grossly overweight, grossly obese. And I'm not talking about um, two, 250, depending on your size and height. I've seen 300 pound women uh, that that have men and they're married and they're happy. Um, with that situation, but I've seen an influx of women who are 300 plus who necessarily don't carry it as well as some, I don't know how well you can carry 300 pounds for a woman, but there are a lot of black women who don't look their weight. There's, there's a lot of, there's black women who are 180 pounds and look like they're 130 pounds. That's just the genetics of black women and where they carry it. Okay. And that was separates black women from a lot of other groups because when you see other women carry weight, they really carry it. But for black women, they don't carry, they can carry weight and look lighter than their weight. However, when you, I have noticed in my experience, I have seen female incels who are basically grossly overweight and in being overweight, they had certain characteristics about themselves as far as a lack of hygiene, um, a lack of a lack of activity that made them grossly unattractive to men. 
Um, also, they lack skills. Also, they lack, you know, um, certain levels of intelligence that would make it comparable to a man that they actually would like to be with. In our essence, they don't attract the men that they want to be with. And a lot of these women want to attract decent, attractive men, but most decent, attractive men, 99.9% .9 are not going to be attracted to a woman that's 300 plus pounds. That's just the reality. Okay. So a lot of female incels I've noticed in the manosphere, if you listen to the content in the way they speak, in the tone that they speak, they can come off as being overly aggressive. They're poor listeners. Um, they have a grandiose thought process as it, as it relates to their own physicality. As if men are supposed to be open to dating women, no matter how they look and how they act. They have a tendency to think that that men should be more tolerable of them, although they're not tolerable of men. Let me repeat that. They would like men to tolerate their shortcomings. But, but when you look at it from a reciprocal manner, they're not willing to tolerate men who have shortcomings. Everybody has shortcomings. I have shortcomings. Everybody's listening has shortcomings. If you're in a relationship, no one's perfect. And so the female incel has a tendency to feel that she's entitled to a man. And a lot of times it's grounded in the fact of I have a vagina. Therefore, men want vagina. Therefore, why is it difficult for me to get a man? I have what men want. Men love sex. Men, for most men, they look at women as sexual beings, as a sexual tool. Why don't men want to have sex with me? And that aspect of it alone is very difficult for women to feel like, as women, most women can easily have sex with any, any guy. But these women... Are not getting flirted with. They're not. They're not even getting approached to in a disrespectful manner to have sex with. They're not even getting a disrespectful interaction. Like men just saying, "Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that," blatantly, and or tapping you on the ass, or touching you, and doing disrespectful things that men have been doing, and so forth. They, they don't even get the disrespectful interaction. And so, what I found is that the the black female incel. And I've seen white ones too, and of other races. They have a tendency to lurk around and observe. They have a tendency to attract and want to debate and want to argue with men who actually apply the same logic, but from a feminine perspective. The men applying it from a masculine, from a male perspective. They, they enjoy arguing with men just like them, but from a female's perspective. But the flaw in their thought is they, they should be paying more attention to more reasonable, rational men who will tell them things that, that they need to hear or want to hear or women that can help them self-improve to get to, to get the type of guy that they want. And so no one would say, but doesn't it sound a little bit like what Kevin Samuel is doing? No, Kevin Samuel is not talking to incels. He's talking to women who want to be married, but don't have a problem getting a man. They just want to get the right man. But and evaluate the situation, I think that the female, the rise of the female incel is that they're not as visible as the males because we automatically assume it's easier for women to have sex with multiple men because men are, you know, are basically genetically innate to want to have women to have more than one woman and to have sex with as many women as they can.
particularly, they can get away with it. And women particularly are not wanting or not genetically predisposition to want to have sex with multiple men, but to have sex with a lot with one guy or minimal or at, or to, to, to or at least with a minimal amount of guys over a short or long period of time. I find it very interesting in seeing this and I'm seeing a rise in it. I see the hostility on panels. I see them sounding exactly like men in the manosphere and other red pill groups. And I see them a lot in certain areas such as the pink pill, such as the divestment communities. And just like the men in the manosphere, they view from a they view things from a perspective of it's the opposite sex fault that I don't have success with them. It's not my fault. Just like the black men in, in MGTOW or SYSBM or, you know, Ipmore and so on, they blame women for their own short, shortcomings, not themselves. So I just wanted to kind of have that discussion with you. Please let me know what you think about that. I will explore that further and further as I create content. Again, this is D. Durrell with D. Durrell Life Solutions. Have a great day.